checking in with Dale, our art, our art critic and commentator, who's going to talk about some of the new paintings, Dale. Dale, start again. I'm sorry, we got disconnected. Oh, no, no, that's okay. I really like this one over here. Uh, I think it's the, it's a very happy painting. It's done well. Uh, the brush looks the color. Uh, this person, you can tell, is, is, is an established painter. But the thing I like about it most is that it's a happy scene. Sometimes you get these things in the shtetl, and they're so glorified, the shtetl, like as if it was so great in the shtetl, which it wasn't, with the Tsar and the Russians coming and kill you, rape you, murder, murder you, and you always see these pictures glorifying the shtetl. So to me, this looks like something local in Brooklyn, somewhere beautiful, a blue sky, these guys dancing. And the thing I like about it most, really, is that the guy on the right is wearing a beautiful emerald green shirt, which I think the men in Crown Heights should take a little notice, because no offense, they need a little help with the fashion in this neighborhood. Because wearing black and white is a little depressing, and if you're a religious person, you should pay some, uh, pay some homage to that God-created rainbow. You know what I mean? And wear colors. Colors lift up the spirit. They make us happy. Green is a color that most people love because it reminds us of, of nature. And that's where we all came from. And I think that's really a very beautiful piece. That's a piece that will, will, will liven up your home, make you feel good. And uh, I recommend that one. I, oh, I think it's very good. Cool. Nice. What is about this new one here? I think the kid with the bicycle. Do you, do you dig that? I don't like it at all, Simon. Why not? It looks like a little schlocky to me. I hate to say it. It's, yeah. it's a little kitschy. Uh, and it just... I don't know, it kind of depresses me, I have to say. It's, it's not my favorite. And the background and the, the kids wearing with the payas and the, 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 the colors, it, it really just doesn't work. It's like the background and the foreground just have two different styles and it doesn't work. And I don't know if that's a kid, but they just don't look happy. It, it looks a little bit depressing. Whereas the other painting that you showed me really expresses a lot of joy and happiness and it, it just it just has more depth than walking on to it. Gosh you did what do you about this new menorah piece that we got in? Not bad. You know, not my style. A little too Peter Maxi. But you know, not that interesting. But not bad. Not bad. I mean I still think that this is a beautiful piece here of the Rebbe. Oh. The um you know, I like that it's done in those browns, like a monochromatic, beautiful brush strokes. That's a good one. I like that one a lot. I think that's very nice. Cool. Um, now, what about, we have some other new ones here. Uh, what do you think about this, uh, this, this menorah one? scene? Was it it's too stencil for you? It's very sweet. It's a sweet one. I, but what is it with you people? You look, if you looked at here, you would think there's no women in the world. I mean, where is the representation of women? I'm, you know, here we go. Here's the woman, no, the bride. I, no, yeah, you have faces covered. <laughs> I mean, what, you know, what, it, it's a little bit hurtful to me as a well, yeah, woman. Hold on, hold on, Dale. What about know, all these women here? All right, and they, guess hold what? On. Yeah, it's really nice. The men are having all the fun, as usual, dancing. And the women are sitting there watching. So you suggest we get some woman dancing I'm, ones too? I'm saying that dancing is really a, such a, a healing activity for the human soul. When you dance, you forget all your problems. You, you release a lot of endorphins. And I, I think so we hope we will get some women I dancing as well. I think it's unfair, well. really, in this day and age that you come here and the men are always having the fun. And the women are sitting on the balcony. I mean, it, it, listen, they're working all day in the house with the kids. Okay, Dale, what are the, this painting here? Which one? This is a woman artist. Very nice. What do you like about I it? I like I like the color. I like the, the, the bride's whole uniform. The, her, um, gown? The bridal gown is beautifully done with the different colors, with with beautiful brush strokes. I think this is a, it's a lovely painting. It's an Anna Zarnitsky it. from uh, Israel. Yeah, it's, it's beautiful. And it's also, it's joyful. It's got color. It's got happiness to it. And, you know, I like it sort of abstract, but this, this person knows what they're doing. They really do. 
you know, this the, this one up here is fun, but it's and I like naive art. They all, you know? The ladies are commenting that they love to dance too, right? But they have no problem doing it privately. All right, that's fun. I mean, no, good. All right, good. I'm glad they. That's do the it. feedback and we're tell, getting from our followers. Okay, and tell them when they're dancing to all this klezmer music. Please invite me because when I hear klezmer music, I love it. And I found out that my family, uh, when they first came to this country, I had a bunch of cousins who were klezmer musicians. Have you ever been to any of the Jewish Colfield, weddings locally? Yeah, you Colfield, have been. Connecticut. And I come from, and my nephew is a musician with one of the best uh, music venues in New York, Rock and Roll, Shea Stadium. It's a great place. City Field. And, um, we, what about uh, Dale? We have a new beautiful. seventh, a new Eastern Parkway beautiful. one. Beautiful. This one here. When I move away from the neighborhood, yeah. that's the painting I would get. Why is that? Because it's beautiful. The light is gorgeous. It, it's really, again, happy. Uh, the only thing is that it's missing my favorite Eastern Parkway person. I don't know if people know him. His name is Ephraim. He's a homeless guy. He always wears that little hat. His belt. He's the sweetest. He is my absolute favorite person in Crown Heights. But you think that would be the piece if you would move? I would. Isn't that beautiful. the view from your house right across Eastern yeah, Parkway? Yeah, actually it is. It's, it's gorgeous. It's beautiful. It's by Fedor. This person knows what they're doing. He has a beautiful sense of color, beautiful sense of light. It's a beautiful painting, and it's it's a little bit more modern. Sometimes these shtetl paintings, it's like, oh, you again with the shtetl? It wasn't so great. Okay, next thing. What about this one here, Dale? It's nice. I don't like to put, be negative. It's, it's not my style. It reminds me of something, again, in, you know, my grandmother's house, like shtetl. We, the shtetl, like we got to, let's move forward, folks, let's, let's move on. Yeah, what do you mean these ones Very at the bottom? Very nice. Robert Cranmer is all from Melbourne, Australia. Very beautiful. It's a beautiful painting. Happy? Happy. He reminds me of my grand. you could see this man is a sweet man. He has, like, if you went to his house, he would give you a hug, he'd be your grandfather, he would... Ask you if you wanted a nice pastrami sandwich. What's the rice, style of the mustard. What's the style well, of painting? Well, it's like a little bit, you know, a little bit it's abstract, a little impressionistic. Beautifully done. This is a beauty. I like it a lot. Yeah. Really nice. What about this one on the bottom? This one? This person doesn't really, you know, it's actually interesting. I could see the buildings there. Right. It's got the stripes. It, I'm not crazy about it. I mean, I have a lot of friends who do abstract painting, right. and it, it, it's kind of mediocre. It's Thank kind you. of mediocre. But, um, Dale, oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Let's go to uh, this one here. Um, you know, it's trying to be a Cezanne, and it just doesn't make it, but... It's it's nice. I don't like to be negative. I love creative people. I appreciate people who you know who make an attempt to be artists. It's not really my style, but the person's got some. They got some talent there. What do you think about this Union Square painting? Love it. You do. Beautiful. What do you like about it? It's just beautiful representation of Union Square. The colors, the paint, the form. The light. This this is a very well constructed painting. It's it's very nice. I like it. Still, two kids uh, pulling water out of the ground. Boring. I'm sorry. Boring. It's just it's very old fashioned. It, it's uh it's it's old fashioned and it's it's cute. It's a nice painting. It's nice. This is very sweet for a little kid's room. I don't particularly like. I think if it was done with a more modern frame, I would like it. But um, yeah, it's nice. It's, okay. not, it's not my stuff. But I still say that the best artist here is that painting of the Rebbe. Israeli. The Israeli. I love that. I Dale. What? What about this little? Uh... Oh, that's very sweet. You know, that's a sweet. It looks like a print, and um, it's an original. It's, it's it's very sweet. It's a sweet you know, one. It's sweet. It's it's it doesn't really. It's to me that's more of an illustration. Right. an actual piece of art, but but it's nice. I like it. Dale, we're going to move to the second room. Oh, oh my, you have such good... I love your uh, <laughs> analyzation. I don't know... And, uh, oh my. <laughs> I love this one. Which one? I tell you, I recommend this, that one. This Beautiful. one here. It actually reminds me... Um, it's a Tzvi Raphaeli, the artist deceased, yeah. has deceased already. I can't... I know who he look, it looks like in, in art history. Who's that? Um... 
I was going to say a little bit of a du buffet, but I'm not really sure um, exactly. But this person is a good artist. They know what they're doing. And the same artist is the one right under. Oh, that one's nice too, but I really like this one. I love the black outline. It's very animated. It's got a lot of action to it. And again, once again, it has a modern feel. We're not going back to, 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 to thinking how great the settle was. And, and the there's your favorite, right? Dale, yeah, is that your favorite? That's my favorite. I still the mural guy. I, well, one of my favorite. I still think that this guy is good because... That's also his, Dale. No, that's that's a nice thing. You like, what about this one? On the that one I'm not crazy about. Same artist. Okay. Yeah, but I do love that too. Uh, Dale, what do you think about this painting right over here? I mean, I can't like always judge right away. I don't have my glasses, but okay. uh, it's good. There, there. He's a, this also to me is more illustration okay. than it is fine art. It's a Martha Hoffman. Oh, uh, finally we have a woman. Yes. I got to tell you, when I first moved into the neighborhood, I saw a picture of this woman, and I thought it was a movie star. I didn't know who it was. I In this said, town, a, she is a movie I star. I know. I said, <laughs> she looked like a little bit like Betty Davis. I just, I saw a picture of her, I said, this has got to be, who's this movie star? And then I found out that it was the Rebbits, and he got very nice taste in women. Uh, Dale, what do you think about this uh, Western Wall abstract? I'm not crazy about it. Why not? Um, I don't know, I'm just, it's too much for me. It's, I don't know, I mean, this is my personal taste. Somebody okay. else could love it. It, it just, it's missing something. It's missing. I'm wondering, like, do the artists who do this, do, they, they, do any of them, are they people who go to school for art history? Do they study art history? Do they go to college? Are they getting degrees in art? Because sometimes you, you need that, you know, Structure. you need that education. They all turn around? Okay. What about this one? I like that one because I love the Lower East Side and my father was born on Madison Street. So, but again, this is an illustration. It's it's nice. It's nice. Actually, this one is also uh, this one also is, is nice. It, it's the same artist as yeah. the Brown Rebbe. Oh yeah, he's good. She. He's good. He, she's good. And this one's beautiful too. What do you like about it? Well, it sh this shows somebody who studied art, art really studied art and studied art history, because it's. You know, she went to the University of Michigan. Yeah, you could tell that she has had a very good art art education. I mean, a lot of these paintings, you know, I like naive paintings, but you can see when somebody really knows what they're doing, and that's a beautiful piece. And the thing is, you know, when Judaic art kind of only stays with the same... Um, Dreary. With the same, you know, subjects. That sometimes, you know, it's hard... Dale, we have a bunch of women in this painting. We hope it makes you happy. For well, this one? What do you think? I think, you know, he's, it's, he's got a little Magritte there, a little Chagall mixed up. Not my style, but it's just too, car I, th I find it a little bit too cartoony. Uh -huh. But, you know, it, again, it's other people's, you know, taste. Like, um... I think this one is, is beautiful. Really? This is also like a, a little piece. dark. No? It's a little dark, but the colors are beautiful. The woman on the right, her, her. It's her, Abraham's son and Sarah with the angels. Yeah, beautiful. Like really? I think that's a beautiful depiction of that story from the Bible. And again, it's nice to see a woman. I mean, how? Yeah. Much, I hate to say, women are a lot more beautiful to look at than men. Dale, what do you think about this sunset bark view of, to Manhattan? Very beautiful. This person knows what he's doing. He's a real, uh, this is a good artist, a beautiful landscape artist. He knows form, he knows light, he knows color. I really, is one of my favorite pieces That's in the gallery. That's an absolute beautiful piece. It's a real I, Brooklyn view. Yeah, it's beautiful. It's yeah. absolute beautiful view. I like it. Um, let's see. That's it, Dale? Dale, you're running out of juice? I, I'm running out of juice. Who would think Dale could run out of juice? I thought she was always the energizer, Brady. No, no, no. I, I'm, uh, we'll get one more perspective. Well, sometimes, sometimes, you know, when I go to a museum, I like to just look at maybe six, seven paintings. That's it, because it's too intense. Because, you know, you really want to... Um, Let's get this one. Guy, this guy, this you're on to Tzvi Raphaeli. That's a gorgeous piece. This guy knows what he's doing. One last one, Dale, is we're going to ask uh, this Rebbe pick up... Char 
Heart Golden Bottom. What do you think? I think it's good. I think it's a good piece. I like it. I like it. But I'd like to see the Rebbe smile. Do you know Rebbe came to me in a dream? No. I'm gonna, yeah, it's true. What's the story? Um, <laughs> so I had a terrible time in my business. I was so depressed. I was totally falling apart. And one night, I went to sleep, and the Rebbe came to me in a dream. He came very close to me. He wore a little cap, a blue shirt, olive pants, and I didn't know at the time the Rebbe had blue eyes, and he had beautiful blue eyes, and he just looked at me, he didn't say anything, and he smiled. And two weeks later, everything turned around for me. You know, and then I ended up moving into the house on East of Broadway with the big picture of the Rebbe. And that night, when I had the dream about the Rebbe, the, the phone woke me up. At, no one calls me 7 o'clock in the morning. It was the Chabad rabbi from Dumbo asking me if I would make the curtain for the Torah cabinet. So I, I think that was a sign of something. And uh, Do you, you want know, to tell whatever. anyone, tell our followers yeah. about Dumbo? We have a lot of art enthusiasts. Okay, what, yeah, what would you, I, what would you I, say about Dumbo? Say, I've been in Dumbo for 23 years. I was a product designer and a fine artist, and now um, I am doing the Dumbo Direct, the original Dumbo Directory, which I'm bringing back, which is going to be a directory of all the creative people and businesses in Dumbo, from artists to people who make robots, to um, a hair laboratory, to the two guys who are doing all the commercials for the midterm elections. Is it a good the time? Democrats hoping that Trump does not win because he's a horrendous human being. And we have great people there. And the Dumbo Direct will be coming out in July. Yeah, when's a good like time to come out. to Dumbo? I, I, all the time. It's a great place. You could come. You know, Summer is a little there? busy, no, you, Dale? You, you come in the morning. It's nice and cool. You sit by the by the river. And I like to go a lot at sunset. Um, unfortunately, it's very busy now. Uh, you know, it's, it's getting very touristy. crowded and touristy. But it's really always nice. In the morning, like Sunday morning is lovely. And come during the week, at night, take the kids. Come at night. It's late. Take a ferry ride. Dale, we're getting amazing feedback from our followers. Oh, yeah. Who are really appreciating your okay. uh, comments. Yeah, I love, love to all my neighbors in Crown Heights. It's really fun to live. But these are followers from around the world. All around you. the world. Yeah. Oh, that's so we have funny. almost 4,000 followers. Are you kidding? Yeah. Oh, sorry. Oh.